doing today it's all my people's doing it's all my cool people's doing hmm? are we good are we happy are we joyous are we letting the peasants rejoice <laughs> let the peasants rejoice just sorting out my little pile here so how's it do how's it go mm -mm -mm. Oh, Tracy Albert Patty and Beverly Atkins oops, oops oops that's it just tidy up the mess and then just make more of a mess okay, that is that should be like my middle name. Tidy it and then make a mess. <laughs> That's what I always do. Hello, Elizabeth, Joyce, Deborah, and Zella, and Tony. Hello, 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 Mona, Balloonist. Hello, June Hansen, Katie Crafts. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Tracy Alper, Pat's Jaw House. Hello, hello, hello. Cheers, everybody. Got some tea in my cup. I'm almost done my water, but that's okay. That'll last. That'll last for what I needed to. <laughs> Why do people say that? Pay the rent. I, 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 it kind of, I don't know, it kind of confuses me. Is that the thumbs up? Hey, Gwenny, how you doing? Happy to see you on a Tuesday. <laughs> Happy to see you any day, actually. Happy to see all of you any day. Cheers, cheers, cheers. You need a thread minder? Oh, true. But I'm almost done this project, so it doesn't bother me. It bothers them. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> That's just the way life is, right? <laughs> How's it going? Hello, Linda Lindsay. Mm -mm -mm. How's it going? Uh, doing good. We got half snow, but very icy. Ooh, ooh. I'll go half an inch, half inch of snow. We, what do we have going on here? Oh, long arm. There we go. We, I heard the, the, the ducks on the pond. So I think they're trying to make a nest or something because there's enough room. That's just a corner of it because I can't get the, just the way the window is. And, um, I mean, if I guess when, when the window, we can have the window open to be a little bit easier to get it up there and aim differently. But right now that is it. Hello, Smith Savage not i'll not be here saturday things came up sorry oh no worries there miss Gwenny. no worries i appreciate you being here whenever you can i was working on a baby announcement trying to get that all sorted there's the star of the show she's got a little storage she's ready for action <laughs> running errands and lurking okay don't don't be sending no reports to nobody or banning anybody, okay there, Miss Lori. <laughs> <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> <coughs> Joking on air. It's okay. <coughs> Joking on air. <laughs> hey there, Looney Lorna. How you doing, my dear? Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Yeah, we're doing some cross stitch today. Keeps us out of trouble a little bit. Hello, you and me, FPP. How's Sylvia? Okay, now I'm starting to warm up. It's only, I've only been out here for like two or three hours, but yeah, that's it's it's chilly. It's only about four degrees Celsius. Uh, but I have heard the ducks on the pond. You might see one every now and again if I left it there. But uh, I don't know. It's not a lot of activity, so. Um, I'm okay. Just choking on air there, Janelle. <laughs> Hello, Janelle Stitchery. <clears throat> There's a whole lot of going on around here. Kids are sick. I don't want to be sick. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> stay, stay far away. <clears throat> Hello, Kathleen Champ. 
<coughs> uh, just stop to say hi and give a thumbs up. Oh, okay. Well, take care there, Joyce. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh -uh. Okay, sorry. Right. Fuzzies in my eyeball. Okay. Uh, let's go to this one. Here. There's the lobe. There's the Sovi lobe. I guess she's got her sword. She's like, on guard. Here we go. Let's go, Mama. Do -do -do. <laughs> What's in the bag? Get your little fishy treat. Start the show, Sophie Lopey, Sophie Lopey. for Lofi. Our chat gives you all the loves. Chat gives you all the love, Sophie. <laughs> <clears throat> she is. I absolutely, absolutely love her. Absolutely love her. Absolutely. Uh, started to iron out tables yesterday, so hoping to get more energy. Started to iron out. Oh, iron tablets. Oh, sorry, I got tables. I don't know where I got tables from on that one. I'm sorry, Sylvia. <laughs> I'm sorry. No fishy snacks smell like really. Hmm. Kicked on live and you were joking. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. <laughs> Just joking on life. <laughs> you know, breathe deep and you will choke. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for sharing all the love with Sophie. She's such a good pup. I just absolutely love her. She's gonna have a birthday when we come back from Ontario. She'll be she'll be eleven. Can you believe it? Time flies. All right, we're making progress. Uh, the picture that you saw on the thumbnail is actually what we've made progress on because I took it just before stream. So uh, let's looky loo. Oh, my mom's spoon, uh, wind chime, her silver spoons, and well, whatever spoons, stainless steel, plated, whatever. Um, they all made a cute little uh, wind chimey thingy. And uh, Marcus, my, our, our son. Um, hey, Gun Girl Cross, how you doing there, sweetie pie? <laughs> She's over on Twitch. So is Looney Lorna. I'm not talking about it. And everybody else is over on YouTube, so. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing today? Happy Tuesday. Happy Cross Stitch Tuesday. Yeah, it's usually more of a, a chill day around here, which, uh, which is good. We're going to start. I think we're done what we can on that one. We were going to start the next one, um, which is working on... Okay, so you can see. So this is what we have done so far. The cute little bunny rabbit. <clears throat> oh, YouTube should you. <laughs> hey, that's where we started off there, Looney Lorna. We've been there for seven years. <laughs> How's Gun Girl Crafts? How you doing there, darling? Happy to see you. Hey, Kelly Colts and Cruises. How's everybody doing today? Hey, Connie Joe. The wind chime is so cute. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I, I was, what else are you going to do with the, you know, my, and it was just trying to make something better out of the day too, right? You know, not only was it our son's birthday, but it was also the day she passed away too. So, you know, it was, it's a hard day. So, you know, it's been four years of kind of fluff. So we tried to, uh, well, three years this year, this year we tried to do something different with it. So, yeah. So we're going to start, I think, on this one right up here. Get ourselves going. Oh, no worries. It's all good. I'm used to it now by now. <laughs> but happy year. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Earl Grey in the mug. Yep, yep, yep. My sparkly, sparkly mug. That's me. That's me. I'm good, dangerously close to being done. Oh, uh, excellent. Thank you very much there, Gun Go Cross. My moderators are going to love it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it, it does keep me out of trouble. We did send uh, some thread, thread painting. We did a hedgehog. Yeah, we did some. And then I did uh, another little one on a little um, project bag that we gave away. Yeah, we do some, try to have some fun things around here. But I'm really, really so pleased with this. Like, that just, and then the, like the, the cake server or pie server in the center with the busted handle. Like, that was in there. It was just messed, meant to be a chime. Like, come on, all right. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. 
FYI, my Terbeers is missing and Miss Lofi uh, share a birthday. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, I think I think she's like the... She's right around my mom, between my mom and my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law is May 11th, and then my mom is May 14th. So, <clears throat> that's my next infusion day, too, by the way. <laughs> when they gave me the date, I'm like, great. My mom's birthday, okay. I come get poked and infused all day. Hopefully, they'll be nicer this time. I'm still bruised. I'm like, hold on, see if you guys can still see that. It's been a week, and look at I'm still... Like, that's not how it's supposed to look, right? Totally love Earl Grey. Earl Grey is my favorite. I love it. Yeah. That was last Tuesday's infusion. Not fun. Took them five times to get it in. They were so persistent. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's okay. It's got hey, yeah. What else are you going to do when you got Crohn's disease, right? Like, seriously. You, just, you let them poke you. <laughs> but they were supposed to take blood and they didn't because they had such a time, hard time doing that to get the, for the infusion. So now I'm like, Great. Next time I get double or what? Like, or do I have to be sent for some? Anyways, good times. Earl Grey tea tastes like perfume. Some people say that. Actually, um, one of our friends over on uh, Twitch, her name's uh, Colleen, um, she's not a big fan of Earl Grey either. I think maybe because it smells too perfumey, but I love it. I love that, just that aroma that pops up. It's just enough for me, right? So. Mm -mm. All right, let's get crack and lack in here, people. Should be in the description below. Um, yeah, at least we're on a Tuesday this week. We had two Thursdays in a row last week. <laughs> or the week before. Sorry. Mm, I'm a Moroccan mint green tea kind of girl. Ooh. I'm willing to try new things. In fact, actually, yesterday, uh, the kid and I took off after dinner to go grab a few things. I needed milk uh, and bread and something else. Um, and I picked up two new teas, a lemon ginger, because for the throat, and one that was supposed to be calming, it's made with skull caps. So, I'm like, I could use a little slow my roll. <laughs> you love Earl Grey? Uh, I find it has a hint of lemon, so I add more to mine. Why do I add lemon? Uh, I've had the vanilla. I found the vanilla just a little too powerful for like, and I'm a like leave the tea bag kind of kind of girl. Like I don't care. Uh, but when it comes to that vanilla one or anything like a, a a minty one, it's more like just dip it a few times or give it a minute and then yank the bag out. Okay. <clears throat> what color are we gonna start with? How's everybody doing today? If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Hello, hello, and welcome. Have a good day. Um, I'm getting older. I wake up feeling like I got the fight while sleeping. License plate number on the bus. Yeah, right? <laughs> I hear you. That was me, like, last... Actually, no, I guess it was a Tuesday before. I just couldn't get myself up. And I'm usually, like, gun first thing in the morning, let's go going, let's kick the trees and wake the squirrels up kind of kid, right? Like... I did not have it that day. It was negatory. Dark pink. Dark pink. You look so pretty. But Moroccan green tea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind trying that, some of that. I wouldn't mind. Okay, we're gonna grab two threads. So what's everybody else doing today? Since so, uh, this is what the weather is here. Like I said, we got some d some ducks hanging around on the pond. Uh, I did hear them. So there's there's at least about five or six that I've seen. So they may make nests out there. So we'll see how long that lasts. Um, as we were out last night too, we did see a very uh, unusual combination of characters together. They were, one was a crow, and the other was an eagle, and they were munching on a raccoon. <laughs> and the kid and I were like, making up this conversation about the two of them and how they met and the, like it's the crow society and the and the and the and the eagle society and the and the e eagle was offering up the raccoon to the crow society <laughs> it was 
<laughs> hey, we had a good we had a good laugh all the way into the grocery store and stuff, making it up this whole big story about how they came about. Because we just thought it was like the, the two oddest characters hanging out together. It was a crow and a bald eagle. We're like, uh, there's a story going down here. And it wasn't very far, like it was just down the road. So we were even more surprised. We did manage to catch a photo on the way back, but the, the crow flew off, but the uh, bald eagle just kind of bounced away. But mocha cappuccino, or cappuccino mocha, yeah. I've done nothing today, and you're ahead in time. <laughs> I bought 100 bags, I'll send you. Oh, thank you, I wouldn't mind, yeah, just one or two. So that, that's way the kid and I can try it, right? Oh, it was. It was totally. We Marcus and I were bouncing it back, right and forth, like, and this was like we had to, we had to kill the raccoon to pay tribute to the crow society. <laughs> it was too funny. Oh my god, we had a good laugh. <laughs> the duck from the pond freezer. No, no, we have one in the freezer. We're gonna eat it on Friday. We're gonna eat the duck on Friday. There's Samantha. <laughs> uh, we well, we want to try it. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a duck and the only time I've actually had it was Peking duck So, um, I want to know if we if we cook it and we like it if it's something we want to grow here, right? So <laughs> Oh, Luna, you can come on visit anytime <laughs> Waiting for the cable guy to come. Ugh said be home between 8 and noon. I hate it when they give you like this like 15 hour time slot Right? Like, it'll be there between, you know, such and such and such and such. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to put, if I don't, if we don't like it, I don't want to put all that uh, commitment into growing ducks, right? So, hey, Charlotte Vander, what's going on? Happy to see you here, my dear. Woke up the head cold this morning. I think I'm allergic to all this snow and ice. <laughs> going to Langley to see friends. Oh, Tracy, oh, nice. Where were we? We were on 207 B Street. We, we used to live on 207 B Street in Langley. I forget the house number, though. Gosh, that was that was where, that's where Marcus came home to. That was the home that Marcus came home to from the hospital, was Langley, B.C. Yeah. I forget the house number. I really can't remember. I'm trying to, trying to here, and I just, nope. All right, so we want to go three stitches over, and then we want to go a whole lot down. So 10, 20... One, two, three, four, twenty-four. Let's do, try that. Okay, let oh, first. Oh. I need my switchy button thing in my jiggers. Good morning, Suzanne Taylor. How is it going with you today? Hold on, let's do desk and me. All right, yeah, hi, right, look at me getting the buttons. I'm pushing the buttons, watch me go. Okay, we're gonna go down. 24. Well, like I did the first time around, say so we're going to come down on this dot. This is the dot that's a dark pink. We're going to come all down right, hopefully right to about there. Okay. That, that is, that is their goal. So I'm going to come do the half stitches all the way around in this one color to give me the, you know, perimeter of what I'm working with. And then I'll come back again and cross them. So that just makes sure if I make any mistakes, um, then I can come back and fix them. Oh, thank you there, Looney Lorna. Over now, over on YouTube. <laughs> See, I brought you to the YouTube side. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> hey, Pat over on Twitch. Thank you for hanging out there, too. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll take this dark pink and we'll just make our way all the way down. Got off the bus at the Carveloth Exchange at 202 in the freeway. I get, oh, oh yeah? Oh, interesting. <clears throat> yeah, there, um, Pop's mom used to take the, like, a, like a Greyhound bus from, well, I don't know, I guess the bus station right in town, and it would go all the way downtown Vancouver. It would be like a two-and-a-half-hour ride, but that's where she, that's what she went to work. She, that's what she liked to do. She rode the bus back, and, yeah, and one of us picked her up or dropped her off or whatever, whatever was needed, or she parked her little car at the, at the station. <laughs> Morning, Pat Remy Schneider. Morning, Nadia. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Lindsay, do you have a high winds today? Uh, we, thank goodness we don't today, but normally it is so, so windy here. It's unbelievable. So. 
And, and Sophie Lopey's good. She's, uh, she's just chilling now. She's got a little sword, so if anybody comes into the shop, she's ready to protect. <laughs> I was repairing, um, well, recovering, sort of, uh, an heirloom quilt. And they had kind of recovered one side by just, like, laying fabric over and then st stitching over top. And then just doing stitch around sort of thing. Uh, all hand stitch. It was, it was, hey, they, they, they were trying to save the heirloom quilt. So um, the husband was trying to um, fix it up for the wife because the other side was now seriously falling apart. So I came up with the idea of making it, like the two fabrics, the one that she had already attached, take that off and with the fabric that he given me, make it like a duvet cover for the quilt so we can still use the quilt. The quilt's still there and you can still see the quilt, but it's covered by like a duvet so you can slip it off and on to wash so because you would never want to wash that heirloom quilt the way it is right or just fall apart completely and he was super excited so I showed him pictures it's crazy windy here today yeah yep. she is just my favorite there Nadia she definitely is uh, the bald eagle said to the crow you know I'm pretty darn patriotic over <laughs> yeah right Jean <laughs> I'll see if I can pull them up on my phone. It was like, because I said to Marcus, I, I handed him my, I got it in the phone mode. And then as I'm driving, I said, here, see if you can snap a photo of the eagle as we're going past. And you managed to get two. Uh, hold on, where's the photo thingies? Oh my gosh, I hate when phones gets confusing. Let's see if I can turn it. Okay, here, there we go. So there he is on like the side of the hill. Okay, and Marcus did manage to catch two photos. So, and then the next photo, oops, hold on. Uh, there, you can actually see the raccoon. It's it's right there. But so yeah, the crow did fly off. But it was like, my goodness, it was so awesome to get like a, at least a half decent photo, sort of, with on my phone driving down the road. <laughs> Uh, of a bald eagle. Yeah, it was, it was so funny. It was so funny, like the conversation that I, we figured those two were having. <laughs> I know it wasn't true, but <laughs> still made us little laugh, right? You know, <laughs> it's all the little things. Got to make us, got to make yourself chuckle. Okay, so where do I actually need to come to? So if it is all the way down to this one. But we should double check. So that's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. 15, 16, 17. There we go. 10, 18. Sorry, the heater's going to kick in. got those ones right there represents all the way down to here and now we're going to skip over one to go one two three four five okay so we're going to skip over here ourselves back out. Make sure we got our five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, pop back out for four. Because it's it's blowing in the wind. That's why it's not a complete rectangle or a complete uh, square or anything like that. It's because it's blowing in the breeze. And you've got like a little breeze up on here and a little breeze up on this one here and a little there. 
right? So we had a eagle spot in town, very rare for here. I'm parked, uh, waiting for oil change. Oh, okay, cool, good stuff. That reminds me, I gotta do, I've gotta do our tires before we leave. Uh, there's Fraser Valley Express bus, very handy. It goes between Chilliwack and Low Heat train station. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good station. That go right there for sure. It has expanded so much. I'm sure in the past like 28 years. So okay, so that was out for four, and then it out another four. Okay, because it's blowing. We drove all over the moors when on holiday to find the wild ponies. Finally got a shot of them as we were leaving Devon on Friday morning. I know, isn't that always the way? <laughs> You're like, we made it 17 hours. <laughs> and just as we gave up, they said, oh, forget it, Bob, we're leaving. <laughs> they pop out. <laughs> me without my camera. <laughs> That'd be me. Hey, Marianne Jackson, what's going on with you today? going on with you today <coughs> and craft a simple life over on twitch what are you doing over there <laughs> and you're you're streaming tonight aren't you if you like uh english paper piecing and some good good uh just general chat there uh loony lorna you should check out craft a simple life on twitch and anybody else who's over on YouTube wants to check out other people on Twitch. Okay, so now we got that. Now we're going to come down on the angle. Okay, we're going to come down here because we've got the end of the four. We're going to come in one and then do, 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 do. Okay. do a little step. I miss Chilliwack. That's where I grew up part of my life. Yeah, that's where um, Kelly uh, Colts and Cruises she's from. <coughs> that's her zone. Got a couple of BC friends there. Uh, Sammy D, I thought, was in BC as well. Got a few. We got a few BC buddies. So we're going to go way across the bottom. Sorry, let's pick up here. <coughs> Hello, Jenny Anderson. How are you doing today? What's going on with you? Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Well, thank you for your comment about my mom's uh, spoon uh, collection. Doing something with it. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. It, was, it turned out really nice, actually. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm very proud of it. I think she would be proud of it too, to tell you the truth. Made with wire and string and leather and some wood beads and uh, this purple little heart here, or sorry, green little heart. And you know, some purple and blue beads and some spoons. And even one that I got her from Expo 86 and like all pieces that we visited, not all of them, but some. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. So. And as soon as we get the little spinner thing for it, it'll hang out in the lean-to part where it's not going to blow away in the next big windstorm. Because <laughs> they, they blow big out here. <clears throat> 45 mile Wednesday. Ooh, that did seem came windy for you guys. But cheers, cheers, cheers. Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy to do a cross to John on Tuesday. Like we didn't for two weeks there. <laughs> it was on Thursday. Had to adjust. Hello, Miss Allison to see and stitch in. How are you today, my dear? Happy to see you. And Miss Gwendy's in the house too somewhere. I did see her. I did see her. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making it, and uh, I think she would be happy that I did something with it for sure. Yep, but yep. And they were my spoons to do what I wanted with, and I'd rather see them and hear them than have them sit in another in a box for another three years, four years. You know? So that doesn't seem to make any sense to me. There she is. Uh, the wind is picking up nasty clouds overhead. Yeah, we had some uh, blow through the other day. It went all black. We are like, whoa, whoa. I think we were all sitting in the living room and all of a sudden it was like, wait a second, what time is it? It got all dark. <laughs> <coughs> it got all dark. Okay, so we're just doing the little up part here. Coming across a so one, two, three, four, five, and then come down for two and then back down. So one, two, three, four, five, back down for two. Down one more for the rest of the row. So these little lines here, the more defined lines in between the spaces here, you may be able to see those, are 10. Those are 10 stitches, so it's easy to count. So I know this is 10. That's one shy of 10, so that's 19. Over here we got 5, so 24. So I'm going to go 24 this way. Okay. Hello, Michelle the Quilter. <clears throat> Eagles are everywhere here, western air, area of fields, and also the river. River, There is like a buffet. <laughs> Hello, Laura Lynn. Uh, your wind chime came out beautiful. Hello, Gwenny, June, friends, and chat. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry. I still have a bit of a, a frog in my throat. I'm trying to get rid of it. Hence why the ginger tea and lemon ginger tea. Okay, so stoop stitch. Across here for 24. We're giving ourselves our outline to this quilt project right here. So we're just following these little dots. And that is the representation of the dark pink. And then, you know, maybe we can work on the tree a little bit or something. I like that. I wouldn't mind doing working on the tree. Oh, I did actually end up finishing the project that we were working on on the weekend, so we'll have a different one coming up. Well, we're going to work with uh, the bear panel. I'm going to show you a different way to quilt that, uh, get a quilt made out of it, because I need another wedding gift. So, okay, one, two, four, six, seven. <clears throat> yeah, we were just talking about uh, Allison. We were just talking. We Marcus and I uh, went to the store last night after dinner, picked up a few things, and on the way there, we saw um, um, an eagle and a crow hanging out next to a carcass of a raccoon, and we were making up what sort of conversation they would have had. We did manage to snap a photo, so at least of the eagle on the way back. I went on an eagle cruise a couple of years ago. Uh, now and we saw over 300 eagles that day. Oh my gosh, it's an annual event in December and early January. I bet it's probably like the, the feastings or the babies or something like that. That is so cool. That is super cool. <clears throat> okay, I think that's it's relatively okay here. 
I mean, it did snow the other day. Actually, what was it, uh, I guess, Friday when we left team, or was it Thursday, or Tuesday, uh, Saturday? I'm not sure. It was just dumped of snow. We, and then thank goodness it all melted. Oh, yes, yeah, Sunday. Sunday night, and there's Saturday night into Sunday morning. We got a wicked storm. Oh, my goodness. It was nasty. Even Sophie didn't even want to go out. She wanted to go out, but she didn't want to go out. <clears throat> All right, I lost count here. Two, three, eight, 10, 20, 22, 24. Oops, one, oh, I had one extra. Let's just double check here. Two, four, six, eight. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. All right, I got two different numbers here. Hold on. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, yes, yeah, so I did got two extras. Oopsies. I got in the zone. <laughs> okay, did double triple check. Doesn't hurt at that point to double triple check. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Actually, I guess it's just right in line with the top one, so I just got to go stitch all the way up. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it's that. Oh, yeah, so. Anybody got any big plans for uh, Good Friday or Easter Sunday, Monday? Do you, if you work, do you normally get it off or is that a thing? I think, I think Marcus gets both off, but I know for sure uh, Pop is the Friday. So that'd be nice. The boys get at least a, a three day weekend. At least. Friday is quiet. We'll do the same. Do my life. Oh, good, good. Rest of the weekend is busy. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yes. Miss Kelly clips and cruises. She streams at, um, or goes live at uh, 8 a.m. Um, um, Western. West Coast.
Does anybody know if uh, uh, Kathy uh, Quilts and Crafts uh, made it for her 12 hour stream yesterday? <laughs> she was having some poor internet issues. I felt bad for her. <clears throat> yeah, what is everybody working on today? That's a good question. Let's see what I'm working on. It still looks too short for some reason. I don't know why. Doesn't it? I know I counted. This is an optical illusion. Hey, Nat. How you doing? Hi, my little cute little cats. <laughs> Those are adorable. <laughs> Welcome in. I want to go all the way up to here. Okay. Oops, sorry. Well, he did it. It didn't start very well. Six times she had to reason. Oh, poor thing. Jeez. And I know how frustrating that can be. Oh my. Yeah. I know. I was watching for a little bit, and then when I had to finish uh, doing for the video for Longer Wednesday video, and then uh, went inside to go make dinner, and then after that, I was just exhausted. I'm like, I'm so tired. I think I was in bed before nine o'clock. So. Yeah, one of the streamers I like to watch, Gun Girl Crafts, wasn't on Gun Girl Crafts. Very disappointed by that, Gun Girl Crafts. <laughs> she hasn't been on for like two weeks, Gun Girl Crafts. Hmm? hmm what's with that? <laughs> Kiss as a cat in my native language. Oh, nice. Well, welcome. Welcome in. We stream on a couple platforms, so you, I'm not actually talking to myself. I'm talking to the people either on Kick or on uh, YouTube. So, though, though I do have a tendency to talk to myself sometimes, you know. I get the best answers that way, you know. I'm, not, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm working on my sampler berry from Erica Michael. Sample berry. Oh, that was that light, like a light colored thread that you had, like a very similar to this kind of, I guess that was like a, a light green or like a turquoise kind of color, right? Allison, I'm going to make some crumb blocks. Various projects are, are midway or can't tell. Ooh, she's got a stream about them. Nice, nice. We're getting new internet today. Old internet has been lucky lately. Uh, oh, lucky lately? Uh oh. Going to make Sandra's rabbit in my next patches and house. Oh, from the their stream? Oh, nice. I might pick my CS again. Across stitch again? I still have to fix it. Bouncer is yes. uh, still like to work out. Yeah, just give yourself time, right? So that's my thought. If you if you get yourself like um, like a, a clamp or something to help you, and then that gives you frees up both hands, because that's why I like rest in mine on the the desk here. So, and then that way I can feed with my right hand and and catch with my left. So, oops, and I didn't want to do that. It came over way too many times. I have to leave a spot for the hook close pin. For the clothespin! I did not leave a spot for the clothespin. Back it up, back it up. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so here is where we should have left one. And then we skip on. Because we didn't leave that spot right there for the clothespin. Nine patches, oh cute. Sucky darn, I thought I was trying, I didn't think you meant lucky there, Deborah <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were lucky. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I can actually say that other word on, uh, YouTube <laughs> without being banned or something. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad you said sucky. You're in the bay now? Oh, she's almost done. Oh, no, you're waiting. Oh, you're, oh, so now you got to wait for it all to get done. Oh, so your, your car's in the bay now. I gotcha. Oh, the joys. The joys. Yeah, I gotta go with our tires switched and get an oil filter before we take off to uh, Ontario next. So, which is just in a couple weeks. So. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Easter Sunday is sunrise service. Getting up early to go to church, then church service in bed. Nice. What kind of breakfast do they serve at church there, Jean? What kind of, what kind of breakfast? I, the only breakfast I think I've ever had out was like a Calgary Stampede breakfast. And that was like you get a pancake and a bacon all in your pancake. So they cook your pancake a little bit. Then you slap a piece of bacon in there and then they flip it. And then like it's cooked bacon, right? So, um, but you get your pancake and your bacon all in one. That That's a Stampede breakfast for you. <laughs> that's good old honky tonk and breakfast. <laughs> It's buckety. Oh, it was that here on Sunday. Like, it's so... And the wind was coming out a different direction. It was coming at the front of the house. Normally it comes at the back of the house. And it actually blew the front door open. <laughs> Even though it was locked, it blew it open. Scared the bejeebies right out of me. Sylvie went running downstairs like the hounds of hell were on her tail or something. My goodness, she jumped out of that chair so fast. <laughs> she didn't come up for a little while. She was hovering near Marcus. I'm hanging out down here. <laughs> My brother will protect me. <laughs> okay, now she's snoring. I wish you guys could hear her. So funny. Where do we got to go? All the way to the one to the end. <laughs> hey, that's I guess that's a great way to get it all sorted. And that way, you know, you don't lose your, your bacon off your plate as you're trying to deal with your pancake. I mean, that was my... First, I was like, Mom, they're doing it all wrong. <laughs> she goes, no, that's the way they do it here. And it, it took me a little while. It took me like two or three stampede breakfasts to, you know, get over that. But we used to always go. That was like, uh, I, I know we went at least six or seven times in a row. Maybe got to the point where we were too old or something. She just couldn't do it in within her schedule. But it was definitely one thing we started off with the, um, the stampede. But there was a few around town. We used to always go to the one in Sunridge Mall. Um... But there was a, oh, no, oh, no, I'm supposed to be in line with that one. Ah, I came too short. I miscounted. Whoa. All right, back her up. Rip. I have to rip all this out because they... <laughs> All righty, it's okay, folks. It's not, and see, that's why we didn't cross it, just in case. Whoops. Rip. It happens. But just pull gently. Don't be crazy pulling it. You're, or you're weak in the threads. So just lift it up a bit and then give a little tug. Lift it up, a little tug. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, seam ripper, seam ripper. Why are you stuck? Oh, you got a little knot in you. Oh, you had to go and get naughty, did ya? That's not going to be fun here. Hold on. Let's see if we can pull it out. Yeah, there's not a chance. It's okay. Let's bust, let's must. I thought it was right on the counting and moving over. I was wrong. Just goes to show you. Mistakes happen and we can fix it. So up one more. I think we're going to grab just a new thread because that makes sense. Mm, we had that yesterday. Oh, touches of rain and over. It was crazy, June. Like just, and it didn't want to let up. Like I, 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 pop, I actually I asked Pop if he wanted to go out for breakfast on Saturday morning, and he's like, 
And he goes, do you really want to? And I'm like, well, no, but I said, we'll go out tomorrow, right? Meaning Sunday? Yeah, no. <laughs> nope, I made us breakfast. <laughs> I actually made us poached eggs. That's what I hadn't been feeling. I hadn't had poached eggs in a long time, so I made us some poached eggs. I had to rip out stitching from my prior last night. It's, it does, but, you know, it's better to get it done. Uh, I need a new car battery and a valve cover with gaskets. Uh, shake my head. Uh, guests shouldn't complain. The car. No, true, right? So, I mean, um, the four-door Jeep Beatrice, it was the year of the... 2007 was the first year of the four-door for the Jeep Wranglers. And she didn't really owe me anything, and she was just kind of chucking along when we sold her so the fact I got like a couple grand from her was I was happy with and knowing that somebody it was a mechanic and he was going to fix her up and take her four by four and with his daughter and stuff like that so she had a future right mm. yes you can yes definitely you could pat Ada and there is actually waxes and little oils and stuff like that you could uh, definitely condition your thread so I didn't even see that not happen though so Especially if your uh, if your threads are 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 naughty, there's some no name brands out there that are yucks, yucks. You would want to run some wax through it if you have no other choice but to use that sort of thing, right? Because or if it comes in a kit, right? So some of them are super fragile too, and actually the well the wax kind of keeps it together as you're pulling it through each hole and each hole as you go, right? Because other than that, it just kind of weakens it. <coughs> Yeah, waffles and bacon. I've done that too, is put waff, uh, bacon pieces in the waffle, but the boys weren't eh, overly thrilled. So I'm like, oh, okay. Because I, I made them so we could freeze them, so it'd be easy just to like pop in the toaster. <laughs> Warm up. And it shouldn't affect the if it shouldn't affect the cross stitch at all. So it's just a light little slim coating. You're not like trying to butter toast with it, right? So. I need to make a before my. Oh, sorry, I need to make an appointment for my snow tires. So, same in order to name. That's that with exactly what we have to do. The past house, trying to decide whether to book it before or after I pick up my trailer from storage on April 18th. It could be snowy. I know, and that's where we're because we're traveling. We're traveling on the 20th, and not coming back until the beginning of May, because um, we're, and it's just like I don't know. Do we switch our winters out or ride? Go to Ontario there and back in our winters. Because it's still iffy, we know this, right? Spent the afternoon and evening with Katie, Brandon, and Everly yesterday. Eric was assisting on Brandon's repiping. I enjoyed playing with Everly. Today is Brandon's birthday. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Brandon. Yeah, and especially if you're feeling that your um, threads are getting naughty. I, I usually like to work with a piece as long as my arm, but with the kit stuff, it comes in like a little bit longer. It's probably about like another half longer. So, but you can always just kind of pull it down and then just work a little bit at a time. Once you work up from your knot, and then kind of scoot it, scoot it, scoot it. But be just, just gentle with your tugging, right? Because the, the, the threads are fragile. Okay, so let's do our upper one stitch and try and seal the tail under this one. Yeah, yeah, the, when our first um, our first spring here at the end of April, we had like two and a half feet. Two and a half feet all fall within about 10 hours. And the, you had to get your driveway. The guy came to clean up the driveway three times. Each time it cost us $80. <laughs> so that was the decision factor of we're getting our own snowblower. Or we're adding it to our, our mower. So that's what we ended up doing. Just push that up there. Uh-oh, you left your phone on their table. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. But you're at home though, right? You're not up at the, the campsite, so. I've noticed that phones have a minor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually uh, notorious for always leaving mine uh, muted from stream, uh, from, from alive, and then going in the house, and then wondering like the next day, going, hey, where's my phone? Anybody see my phone? And of course it's on vibrate, right? <laughs> so then the search is on. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that should be all right. And it's easy to pull one thread out at a time when it comes to those skeins too. So, oh. See, and I stitched where I wasn't supposed to because of the clip. For Pete's sakes. It's a good start to the day. Good start to the day. Oh no. Oh no, what's happening now? Raining now. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. Fun on my head like a memory. Smooth motion. Yeah. <laughs> Channeling my any inner Annie Lennox. <laughs> We are at the beach, we're only, we're only at home. Oh, okay, gotcha, Saturday, Sunday. Are they closer to you, you being at the beach than you are at home? Because that kind of works out. Pay $37 for snow blowing, and my drive is a lot longer than yours, plus I have a huge parking lot turn around. Yeah, that's what we were charged, yeah. And that was the guy who was doing it throughout the whole winter, too. But then we, we knew we were going to have to get something sorted out, so. Which we did, and I'm glad, because Pop really enjoys, you know, beating around on the snowblower, so. And the mower. He's always wanted the acreage to mow, so, and now he has it. Yeah, it was $80 every time. I think we, we uh, with the amount of snow plows that had to happen that winter, that our first winter here, I think we spent uh, $640 and like forty dollars or something like that on the snow blowing or the, the snow uh, plowing, right? And then we also realized at that point in time that we need a snow blower to direct the snow or we're going to run out of space to put the snow if it was just by plow unless you're pushing it right out into the field but first right and then start working your way back because you have such a distance to cover and we're like no we need a blower to blow it in the directions we need to so we can clean up around the shop clean up around the where the car is you know and if we had any you know chickens or anything like that it gets us into the yard to get down to you know deal with them or something plan on trying to put them at the back of the shop yeah that definitely needs a snowblower for that situation right got a new snowblower a couple of years ago and this year we've had very little very little it, well and that's that's it too sometimes you're going to get over overuse and you're going to be like i'm so glad i have this because you're using it every day and then there's going to be winters where you're barely even using it so i i i'm trying to think of how many times we've snow blowed this year quite a few because we had quite a bit of uh so i did forget to count I, I i did say in the fall it would be interesting seeing if we did get the 40 days of snow that they were predicting um because uh i wouldn't say they were too far off because there was snow a lot of days some were definitely heavier than others right
but so far it's it's whatever has fallen in the past like even like three three weeks or whatever is just it's pretty much going the next day or as soon as the sun hits it or the the rain so it's just been a mix yeah we had um I guess it was yeah yeah Saturday was uh, rain uh, snow hail uh, I don't think we saw sunshine, so there was definitely a few of the categories off the list there <laughs> of, of weather. But that's the way it is as soon as it comes into the springtime, right? Winter doesn't want to give up, but we want spring so bad. I want to be able to plant things and grow things this year. There's also a little clip in there. Okay. Hey, Tracy H., how you doing? I'm sorry I'm late playing phone tag this morning. Tag, hear it. <laughs> how are you feeling? Are you are you you're back home and healing up? Okay, so there's our outline. I guess I could, it's all right. So, and I thought that's a mark on the canvas, that little black dot there. It just seems to be thicker for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, now we can cross all those stitches. Yeah. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, we got big plans to grow a garden this year. Well, at least some to grow a few things. I mean, our strawberry plants are looking really good. I'm not sure about the raspberries. They kind of look sad, so I don't know if they're coming back. But the strawberries are... And they've actually hopped out and made friends in the ground. So, right underneath the deck I saw. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. This uh, strawberry really wants to go. But we definitely have to figure out what we're going to do building beds wise. Because I don't want anything to go kind of right into the ground because uh, I'm not going down there to get it or weed it or nothing. I'd rather have something a little bit easier on the back and the belly. I'm home doing a little better each day. Still can't do much without getting really winded. Uh, but was told it was going to be a long process. Apparently I have pneumonia for a while and didn't know it. It's one of those ones that sneaks up on you. You don't really, you just think, oh, it's just a little bit of cough. Or you just feel like you just can't get like a full breath. Like, you know, when you, you're breathing. and Or you get really tired easy. Even just doing the dishes or putting the dishwasher away or doing a load of laundry. Right, it it that's one that just kind of sneaks up. You have it before you even realize you have it, and when you when you've gone to see somebody about it, it's it's too late at that point. So, I'm hoping you can you can kick it. You got this. You got this, Tracy H. Whole bunch of stuff is dead in the garden. Very unusual, super cold spell in January. Did it? Ooh. Yeah, I like to like plant like a section for flowers like I like to get some roses and some lilacs and you know we we have a uh, chamomile that grows wild as it is so I'm going to try to harvest them this year and, and make my own chamomile tea so dry it up and stuff we've got food dehydrators and stuff so you know make it make it make the stuff that we've already got to work for us
That reminds me, I gotta take the duck out of the freezer because then it can thaw and be ready for Friday cooking. We're having dappy duck on Friday. No I'm kidding. We're not. We're not. It's just a duck. I don't know what kind of duck it is. <laughs> Sounds like a truck is here. I could be wrong. Nope. It does sound like a truck. Yeah, I'm trying to get something uh, arranged for the Saturday that we're in Ontario. Should be if if I haven't heard back from the peoples yet. So I'm hoping I'm hoping my plan comes to do it. It's a good idea, and we end up doing it because I think it'd be fun. So, I guess we'll see. Hello, 100 Pro. How you doing today? What's going on, Brandy? Welcome in to the chat. How you doing? No driving in YouTube. You know this. <laughs> no driving in YouTube. I hope that you that's your old self. Yeah, exactly. And it's and it's hard when you're not and you really want to, you know. Like if you're like a, a go getter sort of person like myself and to be to be down and out it just it's it's almost like like worse because you want to do the things you you know you just can't be doing right now right like you just don't got the energy for it and that's it's hard to pull that energy from nothing right and that's why it's hard to look after somebody else too when you've got you feel like you've got nothing to give That's when you need to, to call for help. You know, ask friends and family to come and assist and you know, especially when they offer it. If they offer it then take them up for it. It's like parents with new babies. You know, if you got your your in laws or you got siblings or aunts and uncles that want to take after the new baby, you take them up on it. You go have a nap and you and let them look after that baby, you know. Plus it gets that baby socialized to other people immediately. Right? And those family members and you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Mm. What Saturday is that? Uh, I would have to look on my... Uh, I think it's the 27th. I think it's the 27th of, of April. Because we're traveling on the 20th. We're leaving first thing on the Saturday morning. We're, it's obviously a two-day drive to get to Ontario, and then well, it's a two-day drive back. So, um, I think it's the twenty-seventh. I'm ho I'm hoping to have a special guest in the studio in in the, where we're going to be. If not two, I don't I don't know. It should be interesting. <laughs> I have asked. I have. I'm just waiting to hear back. Oh. Yeah, we're just building the border on our fourth quilt on the line here. There's only five. Won't take us long to finish up this project now. Getting close. Closer and closer.
Now that it's actually staying a little lighter after dinner time, I can, uh, when Pop's editing, I can sit in the living room or in the office and do a little cross-stitching. I would like to work on them. I'd like to get a few more things accomplished on, off my list of what I'd like to do. My girlfriend's son, who was supposed to get married on Sunday, actually did get married, but uh, none of the wedding party was there. Uh, it was just her grandmother and his father, and that was it. So apparently there's, there's a story behind that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we have thought about doing that because we could we could we could but the fa fact is how do we do it in the car we know it's possible um and we'll just the stream as we're driving you get to see the land as we're seeing it right and you get to come through nova scotia into new brunswick and then into quebec and then into ontario <laughs> and see gta traffic i'm fine with doing it i have no issues with that at all because right? it you know we keep us company too right i could read off the chat and and aim cameras and directions, you know, or the person in the passenger seat could be the, you know, that person. Understood, just book camping for that weekend, I'll catch three. Oh, okay, no problem. Well, you have fun. You have fun. Yeah, we did think about that there, Samantha. Uh, so, I mean, now that I know you guys are more interested in it, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll poke pop and see what we can get into 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 progress so anybody interested in watching a travel live stream <laughs> i watch them all the time so i know i'm interested <laughs> i watch a, a a girl bike through the uk and a guy biking through uh korea so <laughs> i want to go along been there through part of yeah part of that right actually you would have seen the coming home part not the, actually the leaving part so, yeah, because we, we were not going, we don't go the fairy way, right? We go the other way. Like the way we came back after chicken. To chicken. <laughs> yeah, we'll make sure Marcus is all prepared for, you know, make sure that him and Sophie got all the goods that they need. Plus there's the pizza delivery guy. So, you like road trips? All right. Okay, well, that's, that's a few. Yay. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Because I can have my tablet plugged in to read chat off of and things like that. And we can have one phone out the front and one named at us or whatever as we're driving. Or, or just out and about. Like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Travel vlogs, right? <laughs> yeah? Awesome. Okay, well. Uh, and there'll be, like, long streams that day. We'll let go the whole day. Whenever we're in the car, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be lit live, right? Uh, I'm interested to watch it. Okay, okay. Unanimous decision. Everybody say yes, pop for travel vlog. <laughs> Type that in the chat. Yes, pop for travel vlog. <laughs> so he can see it. My Good Friday Live is at 8.30. Oh. Uh, it's set up and ready. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I will try and join you, my dear. Because uh, the boys are taking it off, so I will be too. I will not be out here in the quilt shop. So, if there is uh, if there is no video for Friday, there won't be a live either. <laughs> so, yes. And I'm, I'm hoping to be able to join you there, Miss Kelly, on, on your live. I love how you're strip piecing uh, quilts coming along though. It's very nice. Yes, pop for travel dog. <laughs> there you go. Everybody chanting now. <laughs> One, two, three, four.
There you go. <laughs> awesome. We want a road trip video. <laughs> That would be awesome. Maybe the connection might not be fantastic, but uh, yeah, and, and some parts are gonna probably pop out and back in. But I don't, I don't see why it's not possible, though, though Kelly. That would be awesome. British Columbia is so gorgeous. <coughs> Sorry, a tickle. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> prettier view. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be fun. Definitely. Fun experience. Put ourselves in a different category on Twitch. <laughs> we'll be the traveling Fulfords. Well, at least we don't have to bring like the four sewing machines or three sewing machines we brought last time, right? Was there? Yeah, we brought four. We brought four. Yeah, four sewing machines. So, yeah, love chat. Awesome. All right. <laughs> it's unanimous, Pop. <laughs> I hope he's listening. watching people travel too because for one I'm probably never going to be there you know and especially when it comes to a place where I have been you know like the UK it's interesting to see if, if you know like people are biking or vanning it or whatever it is they're camping <clears throat> camping biking whatever it may be it's always interesting I do like the idea of taking a place that you can sleep, keep food, and yourself safe. I heard my name, but I didn't hear what it was about. Oh, you have to go look over on YouTube chat there, dear. <laughs> the, the, the masses have, have spoken. Actually, there is a guy on Twitch, uh, actually a couple guys, they're in their big rigs, uh, one's over in um, uh, uh, Denmark, I think, and he's got this really spiffed up big rig and he just delivers things to places and he films the whole thing, backing up, he's a pro backer up too, he's like a young guy, I was like, my goodness, it is fun, it's fun traveling, because for one thing, all the road signs uh, are different, and um, you know, just, and just, I don't know, just different everything. It's kind of neat. The cars going past, uh, the road signs, the places that, you know, he, he stops in at. It's all pretty cool. Uh, yeah, uh, narrow boating. Yeah, I love narrow boating. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's fun. That's, that's a good, I think that would be a fun way to travel. Especially when you got so many uh, canals, right? We don't, we don't ha really have a lot here in Canada, so. Um, I mean, we have some, but you'd be surprised actually how many we do have. But definitely not like the UK and, you know, Scotland and Ireland and stuff like that.
Uh, I should see what um, Hitch and Sarah, because they, they filmed their trip from Edmonton to uh, Kelowna, B.C. in their car. So I wonder it was on the Sarah Bridgewaters channel when they did it. No, no, that's that's a bit crazy. But I, I know there's a way to do it, but maybe it's because they had all this stuff set up ahead of time or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> I, could, I could ask. Sorry that we were on the other camera. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we've got that part there. Now, uh, let's. What is. Okay, that comes in again. We get to see. Yes, definitely. Yep, yep. There's some good fun there. Long oats. Long boats sounds like Yeah, good. long boats would be kind of fun too. For sure. Oops, sorry. Color month go for heart. Heart is orange. Okay. Do that one. <coughs> Linda Parsons, how are you doing today? What are you doing? Okay, hold on. Uh, I gotta scoot into the house, so I will be right back. Uh, since, uh, Linda, you just got here, you're in charge, okay? Be right back.
Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, crap, it's simple life. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Cheers. Oh, breakfast. Hello, Catherine. Uh, yeah, there we go. You tell him Pat Strauss. <laughs> no, just get her. We'll figure out a way. We'll figure out. I know it's possible. I know it's possible. Question is the cost involved, right? But it also allows us to do possible if 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 we invested in something streaming from the quad, the back part of the property, you know, like out and about, that sort of thing. Stream of moving chickens around. Uh, actually, did I want this one? No, I wanted orange. Didn't I? Didn't I? I wanted orange. Under the O, orange. <clears throat> oh, it's a little nippy out. Actually, it wasn't. But it is. But it is, but it is, but it is. Just trying to get one of these. Come on. Just one. Just give me one. If I pull two, two, you get all tangly. They had some sourdough uh, toast. Sour bread. Sourdough bread toast. That's what I had for breakfast. And I had a little uh, herb, herb turkey, herb turkey, and some couple pretzels. Come on, Jackie, how are you doing today? How's Jackie today? What you got going on? I'm trying to thread a needle with some orange. Now let's do a little stitchery here. It's right up in here. So one, two. Are those ones right there. <clears throat> okay, have a good one there, Kelly. See you later, alligator. <clears throat> Sorry. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, make sure. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth one. So, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one. Just make sure here. One, two, three, four. Yes. And then we want to do three stitches and then a gap of three and then three stitches.
like this orange thread feels different from all the other threads. It just feels, it's just, it's a little bit different. Kind of weird, but it is. Okay, well guys, here should be good though, uh, as my dad, uh, okay, okay, well there you go. <laughs> She's trying to get a roll, folks. two after yes perfect okay so we don't have any more hearts there until down here which is So Terry, how are you doing today? What's going on with So Terry? Okay, so not down until here. Okay, let's find that spot. Would be this one and this one. This one and this one, yes. One and one, two up two, so one and up two here. Oh, when I try to watch others cross stitch, I lose patience. When I watch other like my watch, I, 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 don't, I don't know there, Patty. <laughs> and yet, cousin Carol can't watch me cross stitch, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's it's the rhythm that they do it. I don't I don't know. Uh, good, thank you. Ran to Michaels and I am home already. Uh, had to get more paint for my head. Oh, what you making there, so Terry? What you making? What are you getting yourself into, girl? <laughs> Share with the rest of the class. Let's know what you're up to. Um, here. Okay, so that and that. 
that too. Dot dot. Uh -huh. Hey Giovanna. Welcome, welcome. Happy you're here. Just working on our other quilt hanging up on the line. We started the third one, put some stitches on it, trying to make it come to life. I think so far the vote is uh, number four on the on the list, like on the right here. I think that's the the winning vote to to do to recreate that one. So. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So one, two, three. <coughs> I got Andiva on painting a singer featherweight from videos on my channel. It has been fun and steady flow of follies. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I do scrap quilting. Uh, do others fall into my trap? I start one pattern and do a dozen times in a row. I'm crazy or what? <laughs> you got everything going on there, Miss Quiddy. <laughs> I think it is called So Terry, if I remember correctly. I think her, her channel is So Terry. I think she was talking about how many subscribers she had on uh, Kathy Quilts and Crafts channel yesterday, but I forgot to hear how many. One, two, three, yep. Okay. Oops. Close to here. <coughs> nice. Nice. Sharing all the love. Alright, should we do this one here? There. It's got a space of one, two, three, four, and then a couple of hearts. One, two, three, four, a couple of hearts. Yep. Just wanted to look like it was five there. <clears throat> oh, two and ninety. Nice, nice, awesome. Good for you there, so Terry. Good for you. It's a hard go. Oh, I think I try in the and I do flub up, but I do try to fix my flubs. <laughs> that's that's the the key point there, right? It's fixing your flubs. Well, that was me. I shouldn't have. I did like uh, some uh, wedding announcements and some birth announcements before with just like fonts and stuff, and then I jumped into doing this really big dragon, and then that like I got about halfway through. Took me about a year, and then I just, I'm like, I have to put it away. Just too much, too much. And then kind of like refound it after a move or two. And then it was like, okay, we need to finish this. Like, we need to get this done. So, and it was kind of like put in the next like six, seven months of work, of effort, you know, between schedules, right? You know, working and stuff like that. And, uh, and, and got it done. So... <clears throat> it's worth it. It's worth it in the end. I have an old singer, not a featherweight, that I was thinking one day to fix it if I can. 
uh, it's in a, in a table that I'm using to put my small face. It's, actually, I, I have a one, it's a white Canadian um, in table machine. So, or and yeah, it, usually the laptop sits on top of it. So, Miss Craft Assemble Life was going to um, re do some research. Let's see if we can try and maybe get her going again eventually. That is the plan. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And then three. <clears throat> I did a Norman Rockwell painting. I will post it when I can get a decent photo of it. I still have it. Oh, nice. How cool is that? Yeah, I did step away from cross stitch for for a few years. You know, even though it was something I always really did enjoy and love. And then I was like, okay, I want to do it again. And then I was like, okay, well, we could let's 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 do it as a stream then, and it helps motivate me to get it, you know, work on what I'm working on. You know, people can see the progress that it's not just a you know like a home improvement half hour show. You don't just get it done. You know, wham bam does take time and mistakes happen and take the time to fix it and it's all good right okay so just three space of three and three all the way up okay so I think we can manage that maybe maybe No, yeah, Norman Rockwell is pretty cool. Actually, my uh, mother-in-law did the little bo boy sh fishing, and she did it as a tapestry with, like, yarns and stuff. I, I still have it. And I'm sure it's a Norman Rockwell, Rockwell um, like, depiction. It is falling apart, though. I would like to get it reframed. One, two, three. So, and it's from like 1980 something. Sausage rice with carrots and squash eggs. Oh, nice, nice. That sounds delicious. I made uh, sweet potatoes, shrimp, and cauliflower and peas and carrots last night. Pop didn't have any sweet potato though. So. He just had the peas and the carrots and the cauliflower and the shrimp. And I put like a, a just a tiny little bit of hot sauce in the like in the shrimp water sort of thing as they were steaming, and uh, it was a little flavor and there was, it was a tiny little kick, but it wasn't wasn't too much, wasn't too much that my innards couldn't handle. So. So nice to have a little flavor to something. Uh, all right, two, two. making baby burp cloths today for a donation for a quilt guild to the McDonald's. Oh, nice. Fantastic there, Michelle the Quilter. Awesome. When Ronald McDonald House was co collecting quilts, uh, I think it was in 17, 17 or 18, we brought like 80 quilts to um, a, a quilt show in um, um, Brampton. Not Brampton. Mississauga, or where, where the uh, next to the airport, there's a big convention center there. We have brought huge, huge, two big luggages all stuffed with quilts. <laughs> mm. 
One, two, three, four. It was our quilt guild collected, and then we just did we did a whole bunch ourselves, you know, just to use up fabrics and scrap fabrics and oop oop oop. That's you only need three, silly, not four. You only need three. Oopsies. Dresses for girl, uh, dresses for dress girl. Yeah, I started yesterday, and whatever I can get done by the end of September. Oh wow, that's a lot. That's a lot to do by the end of September. Oh, my gosh, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Yes, it is. It definitely is. It's a very giving community too. It's actually nice to have it like kind of quiet, you know, because usually the hint the wind is just howling like crazy. So it's like when the heater goes off and the wind's not howling, it's like ah, peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, and as I say that, keeps the heater. Oh, soon, Mr. Heater. Soon. I won't have to hear you anymore for at least a few months. stitches one two three yep perfect hmm got our little circles coming around oh squares coming around just shred our little bits under here lock them in good little clip Next! Uh, what time is it on? Well, sometimes you just have to do something to it, right? You know? Like, just jump in. When it comes to something like that. Take down the house. Take down the house. My hydration station needs to be recharged. <laughs> what is the triangle? Dark blue. Under the dark of the blue. Dark blue. I haven't met the guild here yet, so I know they, they meet on Tuesdays. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. And it's like Tuesday in the morning. They don't do evening uh, meetings any in, in, here, so they do during the day. <laughs> like kind of busy. <laughs> And people who have extra fabric are more than willing to help, right? When it comes to situations like make dresses for girls and stuff. So is there dresses for girls, but is there like shorts for boys or something like that? Or is it just only girls?
Oh, that's good. Yeah, bibs are going to be a good idea. They're always useful. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so it's in between. Speaking of bibs, I wonder if um, Tracy Provis got uh, Maurice Charles in the baby bibs yet. So I should check on the tracking. It's been a while ago, but we, we all know that uh, postage is not always the greatest. That we do. I don't know what to do for dinner tonight. I trimmed last night. I did pick up some chicken breast, but I, I think I meant to pick up butter chicken because since we were talking about it last week, I want some butter chicken. <laughs> that means I gotta go back to the store and buy the butter chicken. <laughs> homemade chicken fingers. There we go. Sounds a bit better. I think there is a community for boys, but this is for girls who are impoverished and orphans in other lands. Some of them are to girls here in the U.S. and some of them. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. I was just curious. I know I've always heard about the dresses for girls, but, you know. And boys need clothes, too. Oops, sorry. I uh, apologize for not being on the right camera. Not here to look at my ugly mug, so Yeah, butter chicken does sound good. I know. It's called uh, Project Dress a Girl. It's a woman's foundation. Hope for women. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Thank you for permission. Hey, Brenda Foley, waving at you. Mm, shorts for boys. Not sure if these have those. Okay, well, it'd be interesting to, like, the, you know, basic with, like, elastic waist or drawstring waist would probably be a best, better idea. So. <laughs> okay.
These colors are kind of nice together. <laughs> hey. This is this is way prettier. <laughs> but I appreciate the love. <laughs> I do, I do. How's Riley today there, balloonist? Is he behaving himself? Hopefully he's not in the timeout corner. I don't I don't really miss those young puppy days, that's for sure. We just never know what the heck they're up to and if it, it's like a two year old, if it, it's too quiet, you better go be checking on him. <laughs> Stitches, thread, snip, get a new one. I was, it's just curious because I wouldn't mind making, you know, a couple for each, you know what I mean? So share, share the love. Now maybe we can do it as like a, a show or something. A community uh, stitch together. I'm sure there's lots of other people doing the same thing. But we're special, aren't we? We're not like everybody else. I made shorts for the girls to wear under their dresses as they play. Yeah, well, that's what I would be concerned about, to make sure they had something underneath, right? He's doing good. Uh, we started his advanced obedience class yesterday, and I had a good talk with his instructor about some issues. Oh, good. I thought you were going to say, and we had a good talk over about <laughs> And he's all on board. <laughs> uh, currently cutting out pattern pieces for pants for myself. Since I have lost two sizes, I need some pants that fit me without darts to make the uh, take them in. Yeah, well, when he gets to that point, when you're like, the darts are bigger than, you know, you need to just make yourself new pants. Or uh, get some second hand and then you can almost adjust them as well, right? So, yeah, every little bit helps. Right? And every, every, every kid should be felt like they, uh, they, they are loved and cared about and shouldn't have to go around running naked. You know? I know most kids would love to run around naked. Do you ever think when it comes to like the training and stuff like that, that the dog goes, oh, yay, finally, my human gets some training. <laughs> Instead of the dog getting the training. <laughs> I'm so happy for my human. They're getting the training they need. <laughs> I used to always think that was Sophie when I'd be like trying to practice with her on Frisbee or uh, Recall or whatever, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a dog. Give to get to give a good talking to. You tell him this is what we're doing, Riley. And I expect you to behave yourself, and give yourself the best effort you can, to you know be the the cohabitant and uh, participant in this relationship. Okay, you know. <laughs> Want to be friends, bud? <laughs> Want to be friends? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even have the energy to 
play with Sophie last night. She was funny. She was stomping her paws <laughs> beside me. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> so Pop played with her for a little bit. But then I'm like, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I'm so tired. You hate it when some days just life hits you like a Mack truck. Okay, so that's that there. And then we go all the way up to this one here. Yep. And then on the curve. Do, 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 all the way down into here. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go see what Kathy's up to. Hope to catch you later. Okay, take care and tell her I said hello. Tell her I said hello. Sorry I couldn't come by yesterday. I just got exhausted after making dinner. But yet, when I went to finally go to bed last night, I was like wide awake. Not wide awake, but awake enough. And that was like irritating. I'm like, come on. You were tired. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Here, this, this one? This one, yes. This one, this one. Got all of my glasses on Saturday. They are now two pieces. I didn't even tie them over. Oh, I bet. Oh, field work, dog training. I'm taking my... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Lay down the law to the dog. No, this is how it's going to be for the next 15 years, buddy. Right? <laughs> you and me are going to be the best of friends. You will get fed and you'll get lots of love and lots of treats. If you follow these simple rules. <laughs> when I say something, you listen. It's funny because uh, Sophie will have her selective ears on when it's like outside. She's got to like sniff all the sniffs. For one, it's springtime and things have been running around through the yard like, you know, all sorts of critters, right? And, uh, and she's like, and she's like, and she's been selective with me for the past like couple months, right? And Marcus is like, oh, you just have to do this, this. So well, last night or yesterday, he was trying to get her attention. And she was totally, completely ignoring him. And I looked at him and went, yeah, yeah, how's that working for you? <laughs> He's like, boy, she's just not listening. I'm like, nope, she's sniffing. That's what she's doing. She's sniffing. She's got the sniffers on. They're funny. Ah, thank you, Deep Snipe. I appreciate that over on Kick. Thank you. We do, we do, we do some good stuff around here. We try to have some, some good fun. Anyways. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Okay, got our little blue bits there. Now we need to go all the way up to the top here. Now I'm sitting in another parking lot waiting for a haircut. <laughs> you mean just a trim, right? <laughs> just a trim trim. Did you ever see the commercial where the mom gets in the crate so the kids and the dogs can't get her? She says, now I know what this crate is for. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's not a bad gig. <laughs> I'm going to take my book and I'm going to go lay down in here. Got the kids and the dogs running the whole house. I need a new thread. It's too short. Too short. Yeah, finish the rest. a little bit. 
<laughs> Been there, done that. The only time I really waited in the car was for Marcus's tutor, or you know, or for like an appointment or something, right? So that's why I feel really bad for Marcus and and Kent when they have to wait for my infusions or something, right? And it's not like it's just like twenty minutes or half an hour. It's like three and a half hours. <laughs> I can kill my phone fast in like three and a half hours watching something or <laughs> playing something. My chest very Yeah, exactly. It's been three years? Oh, wow. Okay, you definitely need some trim. Trim, trimini, trim, trimini, trim, 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 there, Lori. Yeah, so I've been actually really lucky. I've never really had to wait too far, to wait too long anywhere. I graded more piles of paper while... Oh, there we go. And Katie was in her dad. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're, if you're stuck there, you might as well get some work done, right? So. Yeah, and I believe I used to knit or cross-stitch when those times were Marcus going to, to tutor. Or there was times where I picked them up or dropped them off at work, and I would just, if I was a little early, I'd just pick out whatever I had going on, or if he was running them late, I knew I always had something to entertain me. I said, just get, make sure you're getting the job done. That's all I, it doesn't matter if you're making me wait a few more minutes. It does, you know, it's not a big deal. I'm here to pick you up no matter what. It's not like I'm going to leave. <laughs> hey, guess who, Nancy? That's why I have a charter on me when I go anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, and, and with the uh, people, uh, lots of, you know, free Wi-Fi in lots of places as well. And, um, and plugins where you can plug in and charge. Hello, Miss Nadine. And then naps too. <laughs> hey, if you know they're not going to be out for like an hour, it's a good thing just to kind of curl. Make sure the doors are locked. Curl yourself up in the chair and just zonk right out. Put the chair all the way back though. <laughs> Put it all the way back. How's Miss Nadine today? We're actually, we're almost done for today. We've already been on for two and a half hours or two hours and a bit. So I'm just going to try and finish off this blue here. Two, two. I'm gonna go inside and get myself some more water and a fresh tea and maybe a little soup. I'm out and about. She's out and about, everybody. She's out and about. Okay, uh, let's see. Any other blue ones that we need to cross? Mm, I can see right away. We're good there. One, two, three. Dishes, then we're done here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, don't forget to pick up your phone though. <laughs> so you must have us on the tablet then. That's what I like about multi multi uh, functioning uh, things like that. I guess we don't really need the blue right now. Finished with that. A small load, just a little load. Oh, just the squiggle. The squiggle is the regular blue. <coughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, we don't have anything like majorly uh, special planned. Like we'll have the duck on Friday for Good Friday, and that just uh, hang out and spend some time together as family, like we like to do. So, gonna definitely sleep in in the car. <laughs> Catch a cat nap or two. I know that's what I'd be doing if I was waiting for 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 pot for his infusions or something like that. It'd be <laughs> taking that time. I'm out. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Lock the doors and sleep away. <laughs> now this is just a slightly lighter blue. They are very close, but uh, they are different. They are close. I'll have to take you guys through a tour of the Sobeys once they finish doing all their renovations. It looks totally different. Okay, so where it was in front of the orange, it is the light blue. Okay, so where it was in front of the orange, we are lined up with the light blue. Okay. So let's just double check that those are one, two, three, four. Yep. Anybody doing anything this weekend? Celebrate Easter? Do do anything? Normally we'd like get the chocolates and stuff, but we're trying to be good this year, so no chocolates. Sophie's tour. <laughs> this Saturday is my son's golden birthday. 30 on the 30. Oh, nice. We're going to escape room, dinner, and then axe throwing. Fun family day with all the kids to adults. Oh, nice. That should be awesome there, Paula. We did. That sounds like a good time. Uh, uh, last time Pop was in Ontario, they did axe throwing as their event. Uh, when, when I'm there, we're going to go bowling. So I'm excited for the bowling. I'm just trying to find my ball. I want to bring my ball to go bowling with. Actually, I guess whether it's 10 pin or, um, or uh, is it 10 pin or 6 pin? I've, been, I've forgotten. I don't even remember what bowling is now. We had the big balls with the fingers on it. Nice. Grandkids coming over? I got laundry started, dishwasher running, had breakfast, great progress for me, uh, or one, usually I'm running around after something or someone, <laughs> yeah. uh, coming in an hour for a couple days, oh my goodness, you're going to have a whole house full there, Gwenny, nice, like the 10 pin says, but okay, yeah, got that 10 pin, okay, so there, now we need to go all the way, the ones in the middle here. One, two, and three. Do, do, do. 
this one's down here. Mm, ten pin, five pin. Okay, thank you, Tracy Albert. Yeah. I was like, I think it's ten pin that we'll be doing. We invited the kids, grandkids, and Eric's folks, but it's going to rain. We're going to have two easy up tents anyway. Stand by for further info. <laughs> yeah, it might be a wet Easter. <laughs> well, it's kind of really uh, early too, right? It's I mean, it's late in, in March, but it's it's kind of. I remember it being a little bit more uh, like towards the middle of April was Easter. But I guess it's so many weekends from the beginning of the year. I guess this is how it worked out this year. It, it seemed, unless I was being completely wrong all these times of when Easter is. But I could very well be wrong. Make sure our little quilt turns out nice. Somebody asks, what's the longest quilts you've ever take to make? I'll be like, these ones right here. These are the longest quilts it's ever taken to make. <laughs> Gotta figure out how you're getting this quilt done and delivered on time. Hey Sherlock Stowes, how you doing there, Lori? Happy to see you. Sunday night, six uh, choirs got together, did two pieces each. Then we did two pieces as a whole mass choir. Valid. Oh my goodness. Wow. I can almost feel the room vibrating. That would be so amazing. Okay, we put that one, that one out here. Sorry. And then, do, 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 do. So we've got here and here. Yeah, yeah, above and beside. Sounds like someone's here or someone's leaving. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, 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 I, oh no, that's right, because it's a different blue. I thought I put it in the wrong spot. Okay, and then back down over to here to cover. The choir did this every Palm Sunday evening. That sounds amazing, absolutely amazing. Much into my choirs, I am into my quilting. Hard to find time for both. <laughs> to my choirs, I am into my quilting. Hard to find time for both. <laughs> you just, it's a matter of balance, right? Just a matter of balance. A little from column A and a little from column B. But I guess one of your major uh, issues would be just the traveling part of it, right? Considering where you are. In the boonies.
the photo. I just got to do a little bit more blue up and around. It's looking good though. I'm anything but balanced. <laughs> yeah, people would say that about me too. That's okay. No matter we get along so well there, Miss Gwynny. <laughs> My back isn't horrible. It's not the prettiest either, but it's uh, it's cross stitch, you know. So, All right. anybody have uh, any questions before we uh, take off for today? Other than that, the I did uh, do a video for Long Arm Wednesday, so you will see that tomorrow, and that is the finishing. You'll see the finished quilt that we worked on on the weekend. Um, the um, color shift that we did find two errors in the pattern okay so remember it's 38 cuts of the C fabric uh, and then that also means you need to cut at least two if not three I think it was three strips extra to be able to accommodate for that too so it's getting there it's getting there I'm, I'm really liking how it is uh, coming along though so let's pop it out of its frame for a second so you can see it all there we go. I'm loving I love the little bunnies and the birds and I'm looking forward to getting the other bunnies done so yeah is it tomorrow night not yet not yet <laughs> I just I, I even put, put the binding on and I just have to hand stitch it so I may take that into the house with me tonight Ooh. oh sorry Christmas too but since COVID yeah COVID really put the hammer down on a lot of things so, but we're getting there. We're building out our quilts. Check us out. Birdies were so cute. Trip, 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 trip. <laughs> yeah, some definitely some very cute cr uh, critters on this. Pack it up. Uh, yeah, other than that, be a Wednesday video for tomorrow. And if I get one done for Friday, we do. We don't. It's okay. We'll be here live on Saturday and I'll be working on, um, I'm going to uh, build out the um, bear panel that I have. Uh, I've got a few of those if anybody's interested in having one. I'm, we're going to use another pa uh, panel uh, quilt project and make a wedding gift for someone. So for a young couple, the young couple that just got married two days ago. So yeah, apparently there's a big hoo-ha that all, apparently all the guests got canceled. So I'm like, hmm. Oops. <laughs> All the guests got canceled, but the wedding still went on. <laughs> when guests get out of hand, <laughs> the wedding gets canceled. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of sad that happened, but not the way, you know, at least that part. The guests part where it was it was canceled. So. Mm -mm. Until we meet again. Exactly, Linda Lindsay. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to, maybe I can get that, uh, spinner hung up this weekend too, so. Hey, Kelly, eh? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, you all enjoy the rest of your day. Have a fantastic time this weekend if I don't see you beforehand. Uh, happy Easter to all. Um, yeah. So, take care of yourself and each other. And from the supervisor who's in charge mode. <laughs> I need to clip her nails too. I hate to disturb her though, but we're going in the house. <laughs> Say, poke, poke. Let's go, puppers. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll see you guys in uh, ah, for the next one. Okay. Take care. See you soon. Bye.